Sotha Seal imagined multiple scenarios and contemplated endless solutions. He even experimented. I hope that's what Lord Vivek needed. Let's talk outside. Thank you for helping me complete my task. Now, I need to return to Vivek City. Have you been there? Oh, it's amazing. Ziggurats rising out of the water, the moonlit hanging in the sky above. Hey, you should meet me there so I can introduce you to Lord Vivek. Just between us, I understood neither the questions asked nor the answers received. Not that I expected you. Some things aren't meant for mortal minds. That's another reason for you to come to the Vex City. To help me explain what my ancestors said. Excellent. Uh, I just need to make a quick stop in Saint Denis to check on my original traveling companions. When you get to Vivek City, head right to the palace and I'll meet you there. I know that Lord Vivek will want to reward you for assisting me. I'll be along shortly. When you get to Vivek City, head directly for Lord Vivek's palace. Once there, I'll make introductions and we can tell the warrior poet everything we've learned. Of course. As I said, the tribunal consists of our three living gods, Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil. They lead us in spiritual matters and rule over Dunmi society as god monarchs of the Dark Elves. I serve Vivek, but honor the entire tribunal. Unfortunately, no. The Dunma houses bow to the tribunal.
Japan. Please, Vivek. This is the person who helped me at the tomb, my lord. Lord Vivek, we don't need the help of this outlander. Oh, hush, Arch Cannon Tarvis. Outlanders have their usefulness, and this one intrigues me. As you say, I'll be in my office if you need me. Step forward, friend of Lavour, and let us speak. Canon Level says you helped him in his mission. As I have written, the one who helps my ally becomes my friend. Despite the Arch Cannon's concerns, I greet you with sincerity and pose a simple question. Will you assist us further, Outlander? I have ordinators and armagers at my disposal. Vast armies of followers and dedicated priests. What I don't have, however, is a fresh perspective. Will you set aside your personal goals for a time and become the eyes and ears of a god? Good. I need assistance to investigate a strange phenomenon that the ancestor confirmed may indeed be a problem. We'll start with a simple divination ritual. Archcanon Tarvis can tell you what we need to delve into this mystery. The Daedric Prince. I suppose the same events that concern me might interest Azura. Though she could just as easily be the source of these troubles. Red Mountain. Strange Daedra. And then there's... Well, we'll talk more about that when you return. Levul's ancestor assured me that his source of power remains safe. As for the rest, 
Let the guess ripen in the mind, and only speak when the fruit grows certain. I require more information on these matters. The situation that troubles me has taken a toll on my Archcanon, but he's a faithful servant. Tarvis will do as I say, and I say we need your assistance. Find the Archcanon in his office, and he'll tell you how to proceed. Ah, Outlander. Lord Vivek trusts too much to put his faith in one such as you, but who am I to question my god? I suppose he sent you to me so I could put you to work? Did he say which task he wants us to accomplish first? Ah, yes. We do need to perform a ritual to reveal the nature of the phenomenon that vexes Lord Vivek. Now listen closely. I hate to repeat myself. Despite my objections, Vivek believes you were sent to help, so I'll do my best to assist you. Go to the ziggurat that's still under construction, and tell the Overseer that Lord Vivek requires the Blessing Stone. Then bring it to me in the palace. You receive a simple errand in the service of Lord Vivek, and countless questions form unbidden in your mind. Very well. Go ahead. Ask your questions. It's not like I'm the busy arch cannon of a living god or anything. Ah, the ignorance of outlanders. How refreshing. The Blessing Stones serve as repositories for small amounts of Lord Vivek's power. They allow his favor to permeate sanctified locations. We need such a stone to power the divination ritual. If you haven't guessed yet, the phenomenon interferes with Lord Vivek's power in unusual ways. It will be safer for everyone if I perform the ritual by using the Blessing Stone instead of drawing on my Lord's personal store of energy. Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. Lord Vivek's senses eclipse those of mere mortals. Suffice it to say, he feels a disturbance in the flow of energy throughout Vardenfell. He seeks to discover the source of that disturbance. Lord Vivek sees signs and portents everywhere. It's the poet at his core. I tend to be much more pragmatic. Sometimes a volcano is simply a volcano and not a harbinger of doom. As for the Daedra, I have no idea. Perhaps the summoning got out of hand. Offend me? You give yourself too much credit. No, I feel the same about all Outlanders. This is tribunal business, best handled by tribunal resources. However, I also obey my Lord Vivek. So I will tolerate your involvement and do my best to aid you.
project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. Our blessing stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our blessing stone? Well, neither do I, but I'm sure it won't put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to Lord Vivek? Why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. The passage that leads to the Consecration Chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be back in the Consecration Chamber before the next shift or we'll never get this ziggurat constructed in time. Thank you. I'll go tell the Overseer what you did for me. I thought I was gonna die under there. Oh, thanks for saving me. Raise the tank! The Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site, but you were able to save a few of the workers. Lord Vivek always draws the straightest out. Stand over there. In Canon Level's absence, you will form the third corner.
to the warrior poet and reveal the source of Lord Vivek's distress. An Ashlander? A clockwork mage? A Daedric cultist? Something interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results. We learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something. At least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no. Not as much as I hoped. Images that suggest avenues to investigate. Riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god, an energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. Listen well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, Gratitude before service, as I have written. So thank you. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy, and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. Something drains my energy. Find Archcap... My divine energy diminishes with every passing moment, but the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated. Yes. While Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the Tribunal, and recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however, despite his narrow-mindedness. I've always used my power freely, and I care little for my own safety.